Hello everyone and, and welcome to a new video about properties of human language. This card states that it is very significant that human beings, however dull or stupid they are, can speak language whereas animals, no matter how intelligent or well-bred they are, cannot do so. Language is a species uniform because every human being can acquire it rapidly. It is also species specific because animals cannot speak human language. We will mention nine major properties of human language that have been developed by the linguist Charles Hockett. The first is the vocal auditory channel. A human language used vocal signals through vocal auditory channel. The speaker uses a vocal tract to produce speech sounds. Animals lack the vocal auditory apparatus and are not endowed with the innate mental capacity necessary for the acquisition of language. Therefore, animals cannot be trained to learn human language. Total feedback. The speaker can control his own speech by means of hearing system his ears. People have difficulties in hearing fail to monitor their speech. When you are speaking, you are at the same time listening to your own speech and may co correct mistakes if you hear any. Arbitrariness. This is the third property. A human language is arbitrary in the sense that there are there is no relationship between objects in the real world and the names that are attributed to them. The Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure stated that there is an arbitrary relation between the elements of each language sign, which consists of a mental concept signified and a sound image signifier. The fourth property is discreteness. A major difference between animal language and human language is discreteness of human language. This referred to the uniqueness of the sounds used in human language. Every language uses a set of different sounds. Each of these sounds is different from the rest and are combined to form new meaning. A sound can be repeated or combined with another to form me new meaning. But animal language can do not have this feature. Example the sounds A, C and T could not could be combined together to form words with different meaning as in cat and act. The fifth property is displacement. It is the act of referring to objects or events that are remote in time or space. This means that the object or event referred to does not have to be present or even exist like the, t the character of fairy tales as a unicorn. The sixth property is productivity. Human language allows new signals to be produced. Productivity makes it possible to create and understand new forms which have not been produced or heard before. And the seventh uh, property is duality. Human language can be spoken and written. Even the language that do not have alphabet can be written down using some symbols. Animal languages are, n are only spoken. The eighth property is interchangeability. This feature allows any speaker of a language to be a producer or a receiver of speech signals at any time. This means that any normal person can be both a speaker and a hearer, as one can notice in dialogues and conversations. And the last property is learnability. Human language is learnable and so is animal language. Animal Animals can learn only their own system of communication, whereas humans can learn their own and other species' systems.
Thank you very much.